Surf and turf for dinner tonight. Gonna do it with a bit of a twist. We're gonna do garlic butter cray tails on home kill beef rump steaks. Got our steak seasoning away there with just some salt and cracked pepper on them. Our cray here, he's still well alive, so we'll have to put him to sleep by um, chucking him in the freezer for 20 minutes. So he'll stay in the freezer for about 15 20 minutes till his body temperature comes down enough that he goes to sleep and sort of forever. And then he'll go for a little swim in this vigorously boiling, heavily salted water for about 45 seconds to a minute. Then we pull him out and let him rest before we split him. We only want to cook him for 45 seconds to a minute just so that'll just cook the inside that's hard up against the shell. And when we split it down the middle and put it in the garlic butter, that'll the heat will come up from the bottom and cook it the rest of the way through. Right, old mate's gone into his long sleep. Now he's having a little bit of a dip in the spa. I'll leave him in there for about, I don't know, 45 seconds or a minute. And then we'll get him out. Spa bath's over, buddy. Time for you to get out, mate. See his shell's completely changed colour. So he'll be cooked, like, maybe 5 or 10 millimetres in from the shell, but he won't be cooked right through. So we'll get him out and start the rest of the cook. Got our cray here, just going to get a little knife, cut that membrane, flip it over, cut up in there, get the tail off, then we'll split the tail in half, take the poo line out, and um, I'll get the guts out and drop them into this bowl, into the fridge, to start getting our sauce ready. All split now, you can see it's cooked on the outside and the centre is still nice and um, raw. Got our gut there with the little trimmings. Bring that over here, get it ready for the sauce. So all we need to do now with this is they're just going to go into the cast iron with some garlic and butter. And they'll go in there once the steaks are cooked and resting because these will only need about another 30 seconds to a minute. So I'll cook the steaks and um, the sauce and then I'll rest the steaks and while the steaks are resting I'll quickly clean the cast iron and we'll get our garlic butter cray tails in there. Got our butter melting away now on just a low heat. Got our fry pan on max volume. Got our gut there. Once the butter's melted and just sizzling away, add our gut, stir it round, add cream, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Best Foods mayo, salt, lots of cracked pepper, and then just bring to heat. Butter's sizzling and popping away nicely. Get our cray gut and tail trimmings in there. Stir that. Then we want Best Foods mayo. A little bit of crushed garlic. And a little bit of cream. And then we just stir as it comes to the heat. Add salt and a shitload of cracked pepper. We've got all our ingredients in our sauce now. Pretty much there. I've just turned it right down to low volume and it'll just simmer away now for the rest of the cook. Our cast iron is getting hot, real bloody hot. So, all we need to do now add a little bit of oil, swirl that around, and then chuck our bloody steaks in. That's what we want to hear. Once they're in the pan, season the other side. Salt, cracked pepper. They probably need about a minute each side. And then they can be rested. Got nice colour on our steaks now. We take them off and rest them. Then we'll wash out the fry pan and get it ready to start cooking the cray tails. Yum. Got a good sized wedge of butter. We've dialed the heat right back to medium to low. And a couple of teaspoons of crushed garlic in the old cast iron. The sauce is looking good. Got a good color now. Reduced right down. So we just get our tails and we sit them down in the garlic butter like so and just make sure they get a nice good bathe in the butter and the garlic oh look at that 
and now sit there for about a minute and a half maybe two minutes and then the whole meal will be ready to serve it's been about a minute and a half oh those are looking good they can come over to rest oh yes perfect so we just peel those out of the shell now chuck them on our steak drizzle some sauce over there and that's done goes good with a salad or some spuds or some mash or whatever you want but tonight i'm just having steak and crayfish there it is And that's that garlic cray tail surf and turf. Yeah. People always ask me to have a bit of a bite, have a bit of a try. So steaks look good. Got a bit of cray tail there. Yeah. Mm.